Hey there, my name is Greg Lamb, the Small Biz Doer. This is Lesson 2 of Accounting 101, Debits Equals Credits. In the previous lesson, we just learned the accounting equation, but there's also this other equation that's quite important, debits equal credits. In accounting, debits and credits are used to increase and decrease accounts. On the left-hand side of the accounting equation, so the assets, you use debits to increase it and credits to decrease it. Whereas on the right-hand side, liabilities and equity, you do the opposite. You use debits to decrease it and credits to increase it. Let's try using some debits and credits to increase and decrease accounts. Let's say that Akko put $10,000 into her bank account. A bank account is an asset, since it's something we own that has monetary value, so we increase the asset by debiting it. And because we debited an account, we need to credit one as well. Remember, debits equal credits. And if you don't remember, the accounting equation cheat sheet will let you know. We need to credit an account with $10,000. So we ask ourselves, where did that $10,000 come from? Let's say she got it by taking out a loan from the bank. Well, a bank loan is a liability. It's money we owe. So we credit the liability account. What we just did is create what's called a journal entry. A journal entry is the recording of debits and credits into accounts. A journal entry contains at least two transactions because we always have to make sure that debits equal credits. So if we debit an account, we must also equally credit another account. Let's try another journal entry. Let's say she paid back $1,000 of that bank loan. How do we record that entry? We ask ourselves what type of account the bank loan is. Since it's money we owe, it's a liability account. If you ever get stuck in not knowing what type of account to use, you can use the drop-down boxes to find the account you're looking for. Next, we ask whether we are increasing or decreasing the amount of money we owe for the bank loan. Well, if we're paying it off, this means we'll be decreasing the amount of money we owe. And using the accounting equation cheat sheet, we can deduce that debiting the bank loan account will decrease it. So we choose the bank loan account, we enter two for the ID, and we enter in $1,000 for the amount. By the way, we use IDs so that we can know which transactions go together to make up a journal entry. And this is the second journal entry we're entering, so we give it an ID of 2. Since we just debited an account by $1,000, we now need to credit an account by $1,000. Now the question to ask is where did $1,000 to pay off the bank loan come from? In this scenario, let's say it was paid using our bank account. So all we need to do now is credit that bank account $1,000. So we choose the bank account, enter in an ID of two so that we know that it's part of the same entry as the bank loan debit of $1,000 and enter in an amount of $1,000. If we want to be sure we entered the correct entry, using the accounting equation cheat sheet, it's simple to verify. Before we recorded the entry, we had $10,000 in our bank account and $10,000 owing for a bank loan. After the entry, we now have $9,000 in our bank account and $9,000 outstanding for that bank loan. This is what should happen when a loan is paid back. You owe less for the loan and you have less in your bank account. Using the accounting equation cheat sheet has made sure that those two important equations, debits equals credits and assets equals liability plus equity are always in balance. Again, if you ever enter transactions that throw the equation out of balance, it'll warn you. One last thing I wanted to teach you in this lesson is the term ledger. What you're seeing right here this is what is called a ledger. An account's ledger always has debits on the left and credits on the right. If you draw a ledger on a piece of paper, it looks like a T. So a ledger is sometimes called T account. And here's a bit of a clarification. Because of space limitations, I couldn't create a ledger for each sub account found in the accounting equation cheat sheet, like accounts receivable and bank account. So it's all combined into a single ledger. So this is not a proper account ledger. I kind of cheated. But this is a cheat sheet, so I hope you'll forgive me. Despite my cheating, I hope that if someone asks you to create a journal entry in your account ledger or t-account, you'll be able to understand what they're talking about. Here's a recap of the keywords and concepts we just learned. Debits equal credits, journal entry, and ledger or t-accounts. In our next lesson, we'll talk about making and losing money, or in other words, revenue and expenses. If you go to smallbusinessdoer.com, you can download this accounting equation cheat sheet as well as do some exercises and quizzes. All right, I'm out of here. Catch you on the flip side.